Is there a question wrapped around that? <laughs> Is it going to happen? Of course it's going to be 2012. It's not going to happen 2013. Next question. I could have answered that a half hour ago. Yes? What is the shift that's supposed to occur? Or what is the hoax that being, that's being perpetrated upon you? The perpetration. Okay, so what they tell you uh, on these web pages. There's 50 million web pages given unto 2012. So there's a lot out there on the internet. <laughs> so if you look at the things they claim, for example, that there'll be on December 21st, 2012, there'll be an alignment of the center of the galaxy, of which we heard a little bit about this evening, the sun and the earth. And there's a supermassive black hole in the center of the galaxy. So back up when that comes out, right? So, the worry is that that alignment will create a gravitational excess on Earth and tip us on our axis. That's one concern they have. Another concern they have is that there's this planet X, Nibiru, whose orbit is really elongated and only comes into town every periodically and will come into town in December, uh, in 2012, and the gravity of that will wreak havoc on Earth. And they're worried because the Mayan calendar cycles at 2012. And they think that the, that means the world is going to come to an end. This is what we're confronted with in this age of rapid dissemination of information, whether or not it is correct. All right. So um, I could just tell you it's all bunk, but then you wouldn't be empowered to understand why, other than to quote, oh, Dr. Tyson said, and I never want you to quote me citing my authority as a scientist for your knowing something. If that's what you have to resort to, I have failed as an educator. As an educator, it's my duty to empower you to think so that you can go forth and think accurate thoughts about how the world is put together, inoculating you against the charlatans out there who will exploit your ignorance on anything they possibly can. Okay, so, Woo! so you ready for empowerment? Okay, next time someone says, center of the galaxy, sun and earth align, your next statement should be, oh my gosh, where do I run to hide? No, nope, wrong. That's not what you say next. Exactly. What you say next is, how often does that happen? And if you study it, you find it, it happens every year, December 21st. <laughs> so where are the prognostications for every other year? They don't tell you that it happens every freaking year. Okay? <laughs> and you don't need me, just ch check it out. But for $50, you buy a planetary program, go to December 25th, uh, December tw uh, 21st, um, 2011, 2010, 2009, eight, and each one of those years, you'll see, because you get a view where you get the, the center of the galaxy, the sun and the earth, all in alignment. And we're still here. So even though I could have told you, you can calculate it and nothing's going to happen, maybe you wouldn't have believed me. But the sensible, scientifically literate question, science literacy is not just how much science you've memorized. No, it's how is your brain wired for inquiry? What is the next question you ask when someone wants to sell you something? Uh. Uh, so that's one. Two, the Mayans, the Mayans, uh, yeah, their, their calendar cycles. By the way, they never said the world would end. People who, it's just, it's just cycle. So, so there are people who believe that the Mayan culture knew more about the universe than we know today. The people who believe, they somehow imbue ancient cultures with great depth of understanding of the world. Well, let's look a little more closely at Mayan culture. In that same culture, the beginning of the world occurred on August 11, 3113 BC. So they got the beginning of the world wrong by four and a half billion years. So I don't know why we would believe they get the end of the world correct. Now, apart from that, what else goes on in their culture? Well, the Earth is flat with four corners and rests on the back of a crocodile that's, true. that's wading in a lily pond 
held up by five trees of different colors. <laughs> this is their account of the universe. What? You mean Atlas doesn't hold it up? Well, right. Because <laughs> every culture's got. I know. I'm sorry to mess you up here. Dude, man. Sorry. Oh, dude. So there's five trees of different colors. I thought you knew this. Did you get my memo? I'll tell you. That's the problem. I didn't get the memo. Okay. The Mayans came after the Greeks. So the Mayans got it right. It's the, it's the trees and the crocodile and the lily pad. So why are there crocodiles? Central America, South America, crocodiles. I mean, you, it comes, so when you look at the rest of it, if you're now going to say they knew something about the center of the galaxy that will tell us the world will come to end in the year 2012, it's, it's, it doesn't, it's, what are you paying attention to there? What is the balance of your assessment of their enlightenment from 600, 700 years ago? And Nibiru, all major sources of gravity in the solar system are accounted for. So there is no planet X. You, so you can look at the orbits of all the planets, and you factor in the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. You can throw in Pluto if you want. Okay? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to Pluto in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Pluto wants okay. to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to get a chair here. <laughs>